Hello and welcome back. This is my Crazy Page journal, magazine journal that I fixed up to do my Crazy Pages. Um, everything on this side is from Bea Grove. I'm not finished with it yet. I just glued down some stuff that I liked. And, and this was from Mary Ann Mott. Now, she had sent this with a note saying that it was watercolor and it would reactivate. I remember taking it outside and spraying it. Spraying it with the matte, a clear matte sealer. Um, my memory is really bad these days. It's possible that I didn't. And uh, next time I'm going to do it twice anyway. So I Mod Podged it on here and it bled all over. But uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to fix this up. I was thinking about doing some alcohol inks. So I'm going to add more runny colors on it. Now this time, before I play with my alcohol inks, I'm going to put some gloves on. Because last time, <laughs> I stained my finger. And it's still stained. And i got to go to work in the morning. So I don't want to be walking around with stained fingers. All right, I'm um, hoping the alcohol inks work, work well on top of Mod Podge. Um, alcohol markers do, so I don't see why not. And we'll just see what happens. And I'm going to start with a light color. I always start with yellow. Yellow is a friendly color. It goes pretty much good with anything. So, oh, before I start, I'm going to spray it. This is a 90... 1% alcohol, you know, rubbing alcohol you just get at the pharmacy or, oh, before I even start, I'm forgetting my own plan. I'm going to cover this page so I don't get splatters and stuff over there. I'm just going to put some masking tape right here and cover that. All right, and I'll take this out for right now on another project. Okay, first thing I do, spray my area with some alcohol. And this will help this disperse. Now I'm going mostly around the edges, and that's a lot. So... I'm going to spray it a little bit more, and I'm going to blow dry it. So, sorry about the noise. I noticed that uh, it's not moving like it normally does. Must be the Mod Podge. But that's okay. Let's see, I'm going to put some blue. Some blue ink spots here. And just put it like... I might move it around with a brush instead and see what happens. Let's see, I'm going to put, uh, I'll put some alcohol in my cup. And soak my brush with it. And let's we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I, I definitely like this better. I'm just going to spread it around. The Mod Podge. 
The alcohol does not like the Mod Podge. But for this project, it's not a big deal. Because I want it to look messy. I sure do. So the blue and the yellow is just making a, a green and kind of like a an aqua turquoise kind of green too. Yeah, I can feel the Mod Podge melting under my brush. <laughs> that's funny. But that's okay. I'm good. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Get that white area fixed there. All right. Now, there's this hot pink going on here. So I'm going to add what I have is this one. These are all Tim Holtz by Ranger. I have some wild plum. And I think to add to the color of the flowers. Let's see how that works. Just gonna swirl them. That with a little bit of purple. Yeah, some purple, because it's got purple flowers on there, too. And then put some more purple up here. And spritz it with some alcohol. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you are, like, sensitive to smells. It doesn't bother me at all, not one bit. The alcohol ink does not like the Mod Podge, but what I'm what I got right now is fine with me. I like that. And this is looking cute. I noticed YouTube has a new movie editor program. Every time I've tried to play with one of those things, I, I mess up. So, if you saw the bl whole blow drying scene, then I, I, I didn't do it. But if, if the blow drying skipped, yay, I learned how to cut. But uh, I'm not that worried about it. You know, I used to like 
freak about stuff like that. But you know what? I've seen some wonderful, talented people on YouTube that don't know how to edit. So, and they have a lot of following. Okay. Problem with this, it looks, I don't know if it's, it's still, it's, it gets sticky. So I'm not going to be able to work on it that much right away. This was in Marianne's um, envelope that she sent to me. And I call it a mosquito hawk. So I was going to put her right here in the middle. And, uh oh, the alcohol bled through the plastic to this and just, oops. That's okay. It just blends in. So I was going to put her right here and uh, work on this page. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to Mod Podge this and put it on my plate. Okay, I'm going to get my Mod Podge brush. I should have changed my water. But we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm really excited this time about the um the whole crazy page exchange thing. I wasn't ready last time. I can do the page no problem, but putting it together, that's that's a different thing. I just I was just stressed out I had to create like masterpiece with it or it just wasn't going to be good enough. And then I realized that uh this is for play and it's for me, for my enjoyment. I don't need to impress anybody. Especially these crazy pages. That's just for us girls who are in the group and whoever is interested in watching the videos outside the group. Right? Okay. So here I'm going to put this girl down. I'm thinking like, oh, like this. Right smack in the middle. Right there. Let me see. Is it staying put? Yep. Okay, that leg is stuck. So it's going to be good like that. I'll put a little bit on top of her. And paint her on. This, the alcohol inks do run when you put Mod Podge on top of them. But on this project, it really it doesn't bother me all that much. I'm gonna seal it. Okay, my little dragonfly lady. I'll take my gloves off now. Now, a while ago, what I did, I punched out a bunch of flowers and I punched them out on my jelly prints that I just made some backgrounds yesterday. So I punched these out and I was gonna glue them around the house and probably glue them on this page too. So here we go. I'm going, let's see. She's gonna have 
some on her head. I'm going to try to learn to use that uh, editor that YouTube has. I really, I have no patience for that stuff. All that, now I can watch hundreds of hours of instructional videos on how to paint, how to do art, but the technical stuff, oh God, I just bores me to death goes over my head so I don't know oh come on I'm gonna create a little row here of flowers and I have no plan for this. I'm just putting stuff where I think it should go. That's so, all. Just putting stuff. Putting stuff up. My mom colored these set faces in, but they're really pale. She doesn't have much strength in her hands. So when she colors with her pencils, she does very light. She colors very light. So I'm going to go over it and intensify the colors a little bit more once the Mod Podge is all dry. And oh, keep picking up the same colors. Here we go. I was thinking about doing some curtains like right here because this is a window but then I was like no hmm I'm gonna do something I don't know don't know yet I like to have a book with a lot of half done projects like that can go back and forth back and forth and add things to it See, got all those flowers right there, and this girl's got everything's got to, gonna have to dry before I do anything else on these pages. Now I'm going to put some. This is some non-stick aluminum foil, and this works wonders. It really does. It's great. Nothing sticks to this. And I'm going to put this page here. Now this one I had, um, I just bent it over. And I'm going to work on this girl. I got this from Somerset Studio Magazine. And this is the page, the crazy page that I did and sent to everyone. Uh, this is my copy. And I'm going to put this, I'm just going to glue this down for right now and glue her on top. So what y'all think? Yeah. So let's see. Oh, I need a paper. I need a paper over here. Okay. I'm going to make sure I'm in the frame. Even it out with this end and just glue that right there. Okay, so 
I need a lot of glue here. I don't want to waste all my Mod Podge on this. So, I'm going to put regular glue. Some Elmer's glue all. There we go. I like the Mod Podge mostly because of the finish. But the parts that nobody's going to see, I'm not worried about. We're going to close this bit right here. Squirt, 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 squirt. Okay. Lots. Ooh. Lots of Elmer's. Okay, my brush. And spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. Now, I did these on cardstock. So this paper is a lot thicker than your regular paper and plus it's got layers of paint on it and glue because I, I finished them all with with Mod Podge. So if you don't mind spend a little more money get you a thicker glue to put this on but for me I'm good uh, Elmer's is going to do just fine. I'm just going to have to. Okay, where's my spreader? I want it to touch right here. Spin this over a little bit. I'm gonna trim the top, but I want it, the bottom to be even with the magazine. And I can rub on this really hard because it's, it's really, it's all sealed with Mod Podge. Sorry about the camera shaking. Is pretty good. And this part right here, I'm just gonna have to add more glue. fingers to be sticky and then hitting that. Make sure it goes in here. Alright. Next thing. Collage this. Now, I'm going to use a regular match Podge. And a lot of it. I don't want this girl to wrinkle up. The more Mod Podge you put down, the longer it's going to take to dry, which gives this some time to soak it up and expand without sticking. I don't know if I can explain it. What happens when when paper gets wet, it expands like a sponge. So, if part of it's glued down, it's going to buckle. But if you do it really wet, it has more of a tendency to move with the expansion. If you understand what I'm talking about. What I should have done it's wet the whole picture, but it's a very thick 
paper. It's not your typical magazine paper. This is from um, Somerset Studio Magazine. It's more high quality paper that they use. Now her belly buckling up. I don't know if it's her or the paper underneath. <laughs> go that's even. all right so now I just have to let all these things dry and uh, see you next video thanks for watching